Now, how does Flutter and Dart therefore then work internally? How is your Flutter app actually converted to a native app which can be published to the app stores? Well, you have your Dart code which uses the Flutter framework or the Flutter API as I call it here, which stands for Application Programming Interface. In the end, that just means that Flutter gives you a collection of functions, of widgets, which you can use in your code to build the interface you wanna build. So you have your own widgets and your own code then composed of that set of built-in widgets or your own widgets, which you can also build. And you wanna build for Android and iOS. Now, as I said, Flutter simply compiles that Dart code to native code for these different platforms. And that happens with the help of the Flutter SDK. And as a result, you get real apps spit out with highly optimized, high performance code that's based on your code, but that's not your code itself. Instead, it's a compiled version of that code. And therefore you really ship code that runs on the different platforms and that's optimized and high performance because performance is actually a huge advantage of Flutter apps Flutter out of the box gives you high performance applications. Now, in case you worked before with, let's say, React Native, which is kind of an alternative to Flutter, and I'll come back to this in a second, it's important to understand that Flutter does not use platform primitives. Now, what do I mean with that? We're having our Flutter app and we're targeting iOS and Android. Now, if we wanna add a button, then in Flutter with this UI as code approach, we do so by adding a raised button. Now, this is just an instruction in your Flutter code, which tells Flutter to render a button in that part of your widget tree. Now, you could think that what happens when the code gets compiled to that native code is that this raised button is translated to, hey, iOS, please give me your default button, which would be a UI button element in the iOS development world, and for Android, a widget.button, that we get these native buttons, which are of course part of the native development environments. And that's not what happens. Instead, Flutter has its own implementations because Flutter, and that's really important to understand and to keep in mind, directly controls every pixel on the screen. So Flutter does not compile your code to some native equivalents or native alternatives. Instead, Flutter ships with its own engine which controls the entire screen, everything the user sees and renders every pixel on its own. And that gives Flutter a lot of control and a lot of flexibility. Now you don't have to care too much about that because Flutter does it for you, but it's important to be aware of that because that gives Flutter more control and less limitations and therefore you implicitly, indirectly, benefit from that. You have a good performance, you have a lot of power, a lot of things you can configure, you have full control over how you wanna build your user interface. 